With these blistering cold temperatures, especially overnight, no one should be living without heat. However, a woman at an apartment comp complex on Detroit's west side says she's been without heat for weeks. She says she wasn't getting any help from the apartment managers, so she called us to take action for her. And we sent our Saima Chowdhury, who shows us how the woman has been living during this record cold. We're at Chapel Court Apartments on Seven Mile, and at least one of their buildings does not have any heat. We speak with one tenant who tells us this has been an issue going on since last winter. Whatever temperature it is outside is the temperature in here. That's what it feels like for Deborah McCray. She's been living in this apartment for the last 18 years. Deborah says apartment managers told her there are issues with the furnace, which is why her building does not have any heat. But it's not the first time. Last year had the same issue. I went three weeks without heat, kept calling back and forth. They kept saying they're going to fix the furnace, fix the furnace. They finally got it fixed after three weeks in the cold. She says this year's issues started again late October. Why couldn't this have been done during summertime? Because this has occurred last year. We left a message with the apartment manager, and then we called the city, who sent out an inspector. We're told the city had been to this complex last week and earlier this week issuing tickets. But still, in the cold. Now the citations have been elevated to criminal misdemeanor tickets, which could result in jail time if the building's owner does not comply. On Long John's, I have on some um, double insulated um, overall pants. For now, Deborah has to bundle up indoors during the day. This is a very thick comforter, it's extremely thick. I have acrylic blanket along with a wool blanket, and I just put it all on me over my head and jump in bed. And even more at night. I'm not the only person that's going through this situation, but no one should have to go through a situation like this. And Deborah says if they do not fix this issue, she will be forced to move out by the end of the month. On Detroit's West Side, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Don't want to see that. No. no. Hope they get some help.